What's up guys, Kenan here. On this episode we are comparing two cranksets, cool crank cranksets made by Campagnolo. On the left side we have the older previous generation Campagnolo Record 11 speed crankset. On the right hand side we have a new chorus, also 11 speed uh, Campagnolo crankset. Both are super cool. Uh, and I wanted to share some, some, uh, some information about the features of uh, new chorus and then I thought, well, let's just compare this one to the older but a uh, higher uh, model, which is record, just below super record. And then I found out, hmm, that's not the one I would like to purchase and I'm gonna uh, tell you just why. Uh, Alright, so I've been loving Campagnolo for the carbon fiber job lovely uh, durable cranksets uh, you don't see even uh, after thousands of kilometers uh, the wear of uh, those surfaces very well made much more better much better than the anodized alloy um, cranksets uh, as you know I am a big alloy fan but this is great job uh, made by uh, Campagnolo uh, on both uh, cranksets we have uh, similar systems like the ultra torque it says here ultra torque system they don't say that here on the chorus I don't know why uh, it's exactly the same system that means the uh, spindle uh, the special ultra torque spindle uh, that is made of two pieces it's not like a one piece spindle attached to either left or right um, arm of the crankset both arms have like half of the spindle uh, with those teeth here at the end uh, those will connect uh, uh, inside the bottom bracket and make a super strong connection, super stiff connection. And then we are using this 10 millimeter um, bolt with Allen key. It goes just here inside and then will connect uh, with the other um, arm or other part of the, of the spindle. It is a really lovely design. I've been loving this from, uh, made by Campagnolo. And also those bearings, bottom bracket bearings, super, super smooth. I've never seen anything smoother than this. Uh, but I, I know some riders who say that they have to replace those bearings. Quite often others would say uh, that these are like super durable. I don't know because I've never been um, uh, doing more than like thousand kilometers on one set of Campagnolo cranks and so I cannot uh, tell you about this. The main difference if we look at the older record and the uh, newest Campagnolo chorus is the design. It's completely different. This one uh, chorus looks so much oversized. It's a forearm uh, crankset. This one is uh, five arm, as you can see, uh, and this one is much more cut out. Uh, the course looks really, really robust, and in my opinion, all the cranksets of Campagnolo are very light and robust. Now, something uh, I was I was <laughs> meditating on is this four arm uh, system. We used to have five arms one two three four and then very very uh, clever the fifth one we already have on our crankset that's the arm of the crankset not of the chain rings and the fifth bolt would uh, assemble the chain rings both chain rings with one bolt to the arm of the crankset very smart uh, very good five bolts mean that we have we have more uh, joints between the chain rings and the uh, the crank arm so those chain rings don't have to be uh, so huge or, or Campanello didn't have to use so much materials here. On the newer design we have four arms and I thought hmm is it just the marketing stuff or a real game here and well I'm not sure. Uh, it's quite like with the Shimano's. Uh, those, uh, Shimano has also the four arm design right now and as you can see here, same with Shimano, those aren't made like uh, in the same distances uh, over the chain ring, but uh, these are closer here on the upper area and closer to one another on the, on the, down, um, uh, the, the uh, bottom area. So we have more space without any joint uh, here and here. 
but then we think, all right, that's the, that's the moment when we are putting uh, so much power on the crank arm. So those two arms here being closer to each other, it, it, it does seem to be quite logic, quite, uh, quite smart as well. And then when we are working with our left foot, uh, putting the, the power on the left arm, uh, those two uh, seem to be fine here. But then I thought, uh, all right, but uh, we do already have this arm, we are not using this arm to connect those. Uh, so I thought, hmm, will it be lighter? Because the uh, competitor of course said it, everything is uh, improved, everything is stiffer, but will it be, will it be lighter? Um, we have uh, both uh, 175 millimeters length of the arms here. Uh, this one is uh, semi-compact, 5236 uh, teeth. The record older one is um, 3953. So we have like four teeth more on this one. And this one is not uh, a titanium um, spindle, it's same steel spindle as here on the chorus. And Campagnolo is uh, around 65 grams lighter than this one. So 65 uh, grams lighter with four more teeth on our uh, crankset. Um, so yeah, it, it's, I know it's, it's chorus, so um, Shimano, Campagnolo, SRAM, they, they don't have to, they, they don't want to improve uh, the previous, the, all the, uh, the, the lower uh, components, low, lower level components so much so that so those would would match like a higher level components from a, a previous generation but here is a huge gap between record and chorus in favor of uh, record. Uh, now for arms, uh, one big change that I love about this is that we do have a bolt circuit diameter uh, I'm always forgetting the stuff. I think it's uh, like one uh, 112 millimeters BCD and 100 and something, 40 something. Uh, I'm, I'm always forget, forgetting this. But anyway, we'll be uh, we'll be able to fit in all the different uh, chain rings here. So compact, semi-compact, uh, standard, all come to one crank set. We don't have to use different crank sets for different sets of our chain rings. That's something very, very lovely. But then uh, we have four arms, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bolts. Here we have five arms and five bolts. Smarter, much smarter in my opinion here. Um, those bolts here I've already taken off just to, uh, to show you something in a minute. Uh, but as you can see, those four arms here are uh, somehow require for a, a more robust chain ring because it is a huge difference between this uh, record and this uh, chorus chain ring, right? And this one is uh, larger, this one is 53, this one is 52 teeth. Uh, so that's it. Uh, both um, crank arms have this XPSS system, which is uh, extra performance shifting system right sorry extreme performance sh shifting system uh, this marketing stuff <laughs> i'm always forgetting those names xpss extreme performance shifting system uh, it means uh, that um, campagnolo uh, has been working a lot on the uh, downshifting and upshifting areas uh, so that the shifting will be super smooth. And they say for this newest generation, it is absolutely the best uh, shifting uh, performance ever. Well, um, I must disagree with it because uh, even if we just look at those chain rings, we can see that Campagnolo made much more job for this uh, XPSS system on the older re record than the newer, uh, than the newer um, chorus. Uh, they say that they have uh, the, the number of the pins uh, is um, like made special for different uh, chain rings. I haven't checked them out for for uh, for some other number of teeth here, but here we have one, two, three, four pins, and look at the record. We have four pins on one side and four pins on the other side, which is which makes up for eight upshifting pins here are only four 
And then uh, when we look at the, um, at the chainring itself, how the chainring is being done for those uh, upshifting pins to work well, you will see a huge difference. Let me just uh, take a chain so that you will see it very, very well. All right, so we are having our chain on the smaller uh, ring, right? And here, my thumb here is the, is the um, uh, front derailleur. The front der derailleur is pushing uh, the chain upwards, right? And this pin, as you can see, is, is scooping out the chain and so we are shifting it up. Very, very cool design. Um, for the chain uh, to, uh, to grasp easier this bolt here, we have some little hole, some groove here on the chain ring so that, so that it will be moved easier upwards, outwards. Just like that we have the upshifting area. As you can see it doesn't hold on to the, sh to the spin uh, very very easily. So this is, uh, this is uh, how it works. We have four of those pins. We are talking about upshifting here. Uh, but just look at the record. Huge difference, huge difference. You can see right away those grooves here are much deeper. I don't think those on chorus are, uh, are improved and I'm gonna, as soon as I'm, I'm getting the newest record, I'm gonna uh, show you that. You can see how easily uh, the chain is uh, coming to those pins. But we have one, two, three, four on one side and four on the other side. Uh, it's much easier, even, even in my hands, to upshift uh, here with those chain rings on the uh, record system. So uh, this was a huge improvement, but what, uh, what we have here on the chorus, I don't think it is. Well, I'm not saying that uh, this one will have poor shifting, because shifting with Campagnolo has always been very, very good. Uh, but I'm not saying, I'm not agreeing that this is a like, huge improvement. Now one more thing about those uh, forearm, far, five arm system uh, is that uh, I'm gonna take those chain rings off to show you something because um, we are told that these huge arms are made so huge so that uh, they, will, they will not only uh, support uh, the, um, the chain ring by means of the bolts but also uh, the arm itself will support the chain ring. And I'm gonna show you something that really surprised me here. Uh, it surprised me a lot because I thought, oh, that's, that's cool, that's cool feature. Uh, those four huge arms will, will somehow support the chain ring. Uh, but the thing is that, in my opinion, Campagnolo has made it like halfway through. Because, all right, these are really, really like oversized. Just look at those um, arms here. These are much, much larger. This is like super small comparing to what we have here. Can you see the, the difference in the, the, um, uh, the way the Campagnolo used materials on, on those two crank, crank arms? There is much more carbon here. But then I was, I was almost sure that there, there are some grooves, there are some pins, anything that will help this uh, chain ring to hold on that, that huge, uh, those huge forearms. But there is none, there is no such thing. I thought uh, there, be, there will be maybe some grooves here or maybe on, the, on those uh, carbon arms, but uh, there, there is no such thing here. Uh, let me put it just as it should be, just like that. So yes, uh, there is kind of, they, they touch each other, so um, when the chaining will be, will be moved outwards, uh, those arms help, but uh, if they are already there, why not make some grooves and help uh, the bolts even uh, to hold those chain rings even better. So I'm not really sure that this is uh, super well done, I'm hoping that uh, some Campagnolo guys are watching this video because uh, I do love uh, your uh, components and I don't know why is this being done just like that. Maybe you will uh, put some comments in the comment section here. 
Um, so cool looking, oversized looking, much more heavy than, uh, than the older uh, record. Uh, the chain rings are in my opinion much better on the older record. Those um, upshifting areas are just super smooth here and I'm happy with those. Uh, of course, uh, here we have um, as well the, um, uh, the hollow system. It's like super hollow, so company will say that they take the material from an, a non-stress uh, areas. Um, but is really this forearm design better than the older five arm? It's actually also, I would even uh, call it forearm chainring design plus one super arm, which is already there. And here we have five arms, but only four arms are uh, holding our, our chain rings. And why not having same bolts um, assembling both uh, larger and, and uh, smaller cha chain ring? I don't know, but I don't like it about this. So um, if you are looking for 11 speed cranks made by Campagnolo, um, I would really consider buying the older record. Price can be roughly the same than the newer course. That's my opinion on this. If you are using any of these cranks, let me know in the comment section. Uh, if you like these uh, topics, please give me some thumbs up and I will see you very, very soon. Bye bye.